Welcome to the Flower God. We're going to do something a little bit different right now. We're going to do something, I'm going to call it the Dragon's Layer. Uh, we have little accent pieces here of dragons. We're using a very low tray made out of stoneware. It almost looks like rock. Uh, we're going to use some uh, magnolia branches, some different foliages. I'm going to show you something about stargazer lilies. A lot of people like stargazers. We have dendrobium orchids, uh, liatris, and some other different foliages. What we're going to do, we're going to start out with a little bit of height. But before we start that, we've already put floral foam inside of our tray. We're using sphagnum moss. And I've already prepped most of it. Tear the little pieces off. It's best if you kind of moisten this a little bit. It, adheres to the floral foam a little bit. Find some real soft branches, usually like off of a chrysanthemum or your, some of your ferns, and just bend it like you would making a clip. And all you're doing is pressing it through the Spanish moss and it holds it in. It keeps it down so it doesn't fall out of your bouquet. We're going to start off by using our branch. We're going to go off to the side of our container. And what this is, is going to give us a little bit of height here. We're going to keep this side a little bit lower. And like I said, we're going to use some different foliages. Uh, Canis is a good foliage for height. Tea leaves are also a good one. This kind of gives you a flourish at the top with your slender stem. Now we're going to add a little bit of sago palm. A lot of your foliage is like this. If you spray it with a floral high shine, it really accents your bouquet a lot better. Now we're just going to tear this off to one side. I've taken the tips off and we're just going to come out to the side here a little bit. Now, on your stargazers, you have the stamens, which are the gold center. They open up, they get a little fuzzy, and what will happen, they'll stain your petals. So you want to make sure you take those out. Uh, this one's already been stained. You could take like a pipe cleaner or Chanel stem and wipe that out. They will come out. If you get it on your clothes, you might as well wash your clothes because it's hard to get it out. I've already taking the stamens out of this, kind of cleaned it up so that gives you a nice pretty look. This is going to be your focal point right down in the center. We're going back with our height again. We're going to use Leatris. When you're using floral foam, make sure you give it a nice pointed cut. And this is going to be just add a little bit of color at the top here, but we're going to keep it very slim. And I'm just going to drop down like about an inch, two inches for each flower I drop down. And give yourself a little depth, go forward a little bit. You could also add these to the back. That would kind of give you a backdrop on your height. I've taken water tubes off, and again with your dendrobiums, you want to give them a fresh cut. And this is just going to accent out the side here because we're going to give this flow. And you don't have to use a lot, just a few, just to really bring the color out. You can also take and cut the stem about halfway so you have your tip and your main flowers. I'm going to add this, just kind of get a backdrop on your lily. And I'm just going to continue this out to the other side just a little bit, not much. That's why I'm using the bottom part with your main flower. And then you have your tip here will hang out. And that just kind of balances everything. I'm just going to lay one of the flowers down here just to kind of as as an accent to it. Now I'm going to use some of the 
Hawaiian Chef. This gives you a little colorful foliage to it. And what I'm going to do is just take the laterals. And this is just going to fill in around where your moss doesn't cover. Just to add that little cluster around your flowers. Just to add a little accent to it. And I put it all the way around to balance it out. Hawaiian Chef has a good variation of colors in it. The yellows to a cream to a green. This is one of the variegated types. You can also get these in, in just straight green. A lot of your nurseries carry those. It's just a real hardy plant. There's your accent to it. Now, I'm adding a little bit of sword fern just to get a little flow here. You don't want a whole lot, just a real touch to your bouquet. Just flowing out of it. And we're almost finished here. And I have some large leaf ivy. This is just going to give you another texture on your bouquet too. Just, just as a different size of foliage in there. Foliage always accents a bouquet very well. And there you have the dungeon. Dragon's Lair.